Hello, Thermo fans. I want to talk to you about the steam table. Specifically, I got a question tonight about how do you know if you should be using the saturated steam tables or the superheated steam tables? And this is a relevant question for if you're uh, using the paper tables because, or the tables in your electronic book because they're on different pages, but it's also a relevant question if you're using online steam tables because usually you're on a different web page, you're on a different calculator. So it's up to you as the engineer to know which thing you want to be using. So I've put some useful things on this uh, page for us to refer to together. Up top here, I've got a page grabbed out of the uh, steam tables from our textbook. Uh, down here at the bottom, I have a page grabbed out of the superheated tables from our sketchbook sketchbook, textbook, you know what I'm talking about. And then above me, we have uh, something called the Gibbs phase rule, which uh, we haven't talked about in class yet because um, we haven't really needed it, but I'm going to point it out in a, in a moment because it's a little bit helpful here. So here is the grand secret to everything steam tables. The grand secret is uh, once we are just talking about water with nothing mixed in it, if you know two state functions, um, then you know everything there is to know about your system. That is, you have two things specified, everything else is fixed. Uh, don't believe me? Let's look. So let's pick, let's uh, here, I'm going to look over here, and let's make the superheated table big, and let's look at 200 kilopascals, which is two bar, right? That's two bar. So if we look at this two bar uh, setup here, and I say something like, uh, we're at two bar and 300 degrees. So here's, here's that two bar, here's 300 degrees. That only appears one place. So if I look over here, like there's 300 degrees again, but that's a different pressure. And so all of these values, uh, this value for specific volume, this value for internal energy, this value for enthalpy, this value for entropy, only appear, um, all together, like that is this whole suite of things only describes this situation where it's two bar and it's 300 C. And in fact, we can go further than that because we could say if, uh, if I said to you, well, it's 300 degrees and uh, I happen to know that the internal energy is 2,808.6 kilojoules per kilogram. Um, that also specifies only exactly here. There won't be any other place on steam tables, saturated, uh, superheated, subcooled, any place you look, that'll only happen at this one place. So um, as long as you know two things, you can, uh, you, it's okay for you to know, not know whether it's saturated or not, because what you can be conf uh, sure of is you can wander through the entire steam tables and you'll only find one spot uh, where those conditions match up. So let me demonstrate that. So we picked two bar and 300 degrees C, and I'm going to shrink this down, and now I'm going to make my uh, uh, saturated table big so we can see. And so in this saturated table, you can see um, that two bar, so now we're at megapascals, so two bar is 0.2 megapascals, so that's right here near this line, right here near 120 uh, degrees C, and you see, wait, 2 megapascals, that's 120 degrees C, it's not 300. And if I keep going through the saturated table till I find 300, it's going to be at a not at 2 bar, it's going to be at a, a, a different pressure than that, it's going to be at higher pressure. So we can't actually get all the things we're looking for um, randomly on any table. So that is one of the ways we know uh, to go to uh, saturated or superheated. That whatever it is we're looking for um, will only be in one place. Now, the other thing, and, uh, and uh, where this comes from, that if you know two things, you know everything, the source of that is what's above me, which is called the Gibbs phase rule, named after our friend J. Willard Gibbs. Um, and uh, F up here is the number of degrees of freedom. C is how many compounds you have or components, and P is a number of phases, and 2 is 2. So this is the uh, equation that 
leads us to, well, if we have water, which is one thing, and it's in one phase, and then two is two, uh, one minus one plus two, in a astonishing feat of math, that gives me two. So if I pick a temperature and a pressure, there is only one place on the steam tables that that's gonna work. Now, about this saturated thing, a thing that uh, then ends up being true for saturated, that's one compound, two phases, plus two. Oh my gosh, that got one. So one of our degrees of freedom gets used up by being saturated. And, uh, well, you say, you know, what does that mean? That means um, on the superheated table, if I am designing something, trying to use the superheated table, we'll bring that back, I can pick a pressure and a temperature, uh, and then it's still superheated steam. So I could say uh, 2 bar and 400 degrees Celsius. I could say 2 bar and 500 degrees Celsius, and both of those things are possible. If we push this back out of the way, on the saturated table, if I say 2 bar, I am stuck at a particular temperature. Um, if I say a particular temperature, I'm stuck at a particular pressure. But, dialing it back, um, you can still think of it as you, uh, you are always in control of two things. It's just now you've picked one of those things is saturated. So, let's make a, uh, a practical example. Oogie, practical example is, um, as I said before, if you know any two things, it's only one place on the steam table. So you might be wondering how you know uh, where on the steam table to find those two things. And so finding things by temperature and pressure, it's kind of easy because the steam tables are organized, you know, where pressure is this nice big thing right here and temperature goes down the edge. Uh, and that's true over here on the saturated table as well. But sometimes what you know about a system is not the temperature and pressure, or maybe it's just one of those two, and then the other thing you know is something else, like enthalpy or entropy. Even though those are not conveniently organized in order where they're easy to look up, it is still true that there will then only be one place on the entire steam table, superheated, saturated, everything else, where those two things match up. Because once you know two things, it's got to be everything, see, above. So, coming back to another example. Say we had something um, like a turbine uh, that's reversible, and uh, our entropy balance is delta S equals zero. And therefore, we know that our starting entropy and our ending entropy for this process have got to be the same thing. So if we had, for example, something that started here at uh, 150, wow, gray highlighter. That's a lousy highlighter. Let's make it green. Okay, so we started at 150 C and two bar. So I know two things, now I know everything else. So now I am stuck at this volume, this internal energy, this enthalpy, this entropy. So 7.2795. And that's what's coming into the turbine. And then what's coming out of the turbine, uh, instead of being at two bar, let's say it's at one bar. Let's say it's at, at atmospheric pressure. So now we say, let's find the place on the steam table where uh, that's true. And so what we are now looking for is instead of where is this temperature with this pressure, we are now looking for where is this entropy, 7.2795, matched with the, the pressure that we need. And a convenient thing about that is that uh, you'll notice in general, by and large, uh, as we have a temperature get lower, we'll see that the entropy is going down, right? As the temperature goes down, the entropy is going down too. So we have an entropy of uh, 7.2795 at 100 degrees C and two bar. Now we're gonna look at, at uh, one bar. So we're kind of expecting um, that uh, the temperature will not be higher than 150, where we're looking. Uh, the temperature will probably be lower. 
whoops, and I grabbed the wrong thing. Here we go. So I'm going to bring this down a little so we can look around uh, at other things. So we ought to check the superheated table uh, at one bar. Uh, which I didn't actually copy onto here, so we're gonna we're gonna start by looking at um, one bar, or let's just look at atmospheric pressure. We're gonna look at atmospheric pressure here on the uh, saturated table, and why is that? Because we know there is only gonna be one place where uh, our atmospheric pressure matches up with our target entropy, so we could. I invite you. In fact, I, I recommend. Go look at the steam table. Go pick out the place. Um, go look at the superheated steam table for atmospheric pressure and see if 7.2795 is there in any of the entropy columns. The answer is no. It won't be there. So now, uh, since we know it's not in the superheated, we got to keep looking. So now we're going to look in, uh, in saturated. And lo and behold... Once we know two things, we know everything. What is it we know here? Look at this. The entropy of 100% steam is 7.35, which is a bigger number than 7.27. Uh, but the entropy of the liquid is 1.3. And we are at the pressure that we want. Um, and so that means all of these entropies, every number between 7.35 and 1.30, um, all of those entropies in the middle there are possible because you can have a mix of vapor and liquid. Uh, that is, you can have a quality, and that will uh, land us with the um, entropy we're looking for. So yeah, so there you go. And you're like, well, wait a minute. How come, you know, isn't that number somewhere else? You say, wait a minute. Hang on, Beejan. Like, look over here. 7.27 uh, is also between 7.5 and 1.13. So how is it um, I know I'm not at 85 degrees C? How do I know that? How I know that is this pressure is not anywhere near the pressure we were looking for. Right? That's, that's the wrong pressure. So any two things only line up with one set of properties. So that's, that's always going to be the case. So once you know, if you know a temperature and a pressure, you know a pressure and an internal energy. You know a volume and an entropy. Only one place on the entire steam table will that thing be found. Okay? I hope this helps. Let me know. Bye-bye.